What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC. I'm coming at you with my 40-second Wi-Fi battle against the recently very controversial Dark and Fears. He's a YouTube battler, so definitely go check him out. And uh, here we go. I start off with my Zelf. He has his ape. I switch out, and um, he either you turned out or switched out also. I get up my rocks predicting that, and I uh, go into my clef. He goes back into his ape after putting me to sleep, which sucks because I didn't get my toxic orb off. And uh, U turns out, I predict that, go into my swampy, and um, he goes into his Venusaur. I switch back into my cleft, just trying to burn off a turn of sleep, which I'm able to do, so that's cool. He goes back into his ape, does a close combat, uh, not over predicting there, and I predicted that though, and went into the safe swamper, which on um, the first turn I had found out that he didn't have the grass knot by switching, so that's awesome. I'm safe with that guy. Really sucks because he got a freeze there, but um, I go into my cleft just not to be a dick and burn off my sleep while he burns off some of his freeze um switches out there again goes back into this guy and um i went for the ice beam just uh over predicting a little bit in case he switched thank god his freeze ran out so it didn't end up changing the game um i went for the s toss there my sleep burned out but that was important i did that and didn't go for the trick yet just because i had to get my toxic um up on my clefable which is the whole point of the toxic orb um, then I switch back into my pert. He went for the close combat. Again, not over trying to over predict. I go here. I do my surf just because it's the stab move and it probably does about the same as what ice does. But, um, we both switch out. I go into my clefable. I switch because I got the bad part of the switch and go into my duskinor, which does a pretty good job in this game walling most of his pokes. Um, after that special defense drop, that's fine. Um, fortunately, I didn't carry the ice punch, so I couldn't uh, take out his Dragonite right there. So I switch f to save the um, pain split for later and uh, take whatever else he has walling him with my Swampert. And um, here I go for another ice beam predicting maybe a switch. He does a soft boil and also I know that um, I'm getting leftovers recovery so that's good but then I see the calm mind and I have to switch. Um, I go into my Rachi and um, trying to maybe scare him away but get the U-turn uh, off which is cool and I know that he's going to want to do a slack off there hopefully which he does do and I'm able to successfully bring in my dust nor and get a pain split off which is awesome because I'm now at full health um he goes now uh does the surf and I go into my clefable just knowing that it walls him pretty much and he's afraid of me doing the trick he does an excellent predict and switches in so now I have a scarf which I'm gonna save for later and um although that might have been a great move it also likely um could have been a lot of his team's undoing. Um, he's just going for a bunch of close combats there. I get the surf off and I'm able to take out his ape which would die soon anyway from toxic but that's cool. Now I leave in my swampy here just to be a fodder and kind of feel out. Now that ice beam there as you see did almost nothing and he's a calm minder which isn't too good for me but Thank God he is a more defensive Calm Minder, so I'm able to, with my Clef, go ahead right there and get off the um, T-Wave, which makes this much less of a threat. Um, I switch out just because uh, he does the smart move there, being a good battler and Calm Minds, instead of going for the kill, predicting my switch. And then I brought in, I, um, I probably should have done the U-Turn, but I went for the Ice Punch, and unfortunately he does carry the Hidden Power Fire, but I'm able to Revenge Kill with myself. So that's awesome. Um, there, I switch, I brought in my Clef, just because ha holding the Scarf, I'd be faster than most of his team, but because he had the Extreme Speed, I predicted that, and went into my Dusknor, and here I'm able to take out his Dragonite, which fucking rocks. Um, he did Mitch the Fire Blast there, which did really suck for him, because it would have taken out my Dusknor, but um, seeing 
knowing what the rest of my team is, that didn't make a big deal. I went into my Swamper um, and pretty much just as fodder so I could safely bring in the Clefable and um, do exactly this, knowing that I'm faster with the Scarf, just heal up all the way. And I don't, I didn't want to go and do the trick just because the um, I wanted to save that for a different poke of his since I pretty much wall him and he can't leech seed me or anything with this guy. So it might not have been good for him to just stay in like that, but um, yeah, it worked out for me. So right here, I he goes for the waterfall, Dustnor walls him. Um, I do get off the Will-O-Wisp, which is awesome because now he's... Uh, guy is pretty much useless, plus I carry the... Uh, Thunder Punch. Now predicting the switch there, I go ahead with the um, Pain Split, which worked out very well for me again at full power. And um, I stayed in here just to really have Dustnor's uh, Sleep Fodder. Uh, he missed his first sleep, which kind of sucked, but I had the um, Fire Punch, so I ended up getting, being able to get some extra damage off. And then we end up both switching um, with myself. I just go ahead for the U turn. Um, I have the habit of drawing out games that I know I'm going to win anyway, um, just because I enjoy playing uh, good battlers, and uh, yeah, I like to see how well my pokes can take hits and what they can do. So this game did end up being pretty drawn out, and that's why it's at four times speed, so I do apologize for that, but um, yeah. So anyway, I'm burning off the sleep, I go for the thunder punch, I know he's going to die even if I don't get it, but... Um, I know I'm able to just pain split up, and I probably could have taken him out um, right here with the uh, thunder punches, but I decided to switch into my clef because I thought it's about time. I got rid of my scarf, which he does predict, and I do that. It doesn't really make a difference um, even after two or three calm mines because I'm able to still wall him. I go into my Latius uh, now that I know that he is stuck, because I didn't know if he carried Ice Beam or Psychic. He never showed me, but I was fearing the uh, possible Ice Beam. But um, I go ahead into my Latius, and here um, I don't have anything that's super effective against him, and he's a special wall, so I was hoping to get a Sleep Fodder and or be a Fodder uh, completely, but no, whatever. So then I go into my Dusknor just to try and scare him, get him to put something to sleep. He does put me to sleep. He gets the leech seat off. I know it's time to go, and this game has taken long enough, so boom. Good game. Uh, definitely Dark and Fears. It's always a pleasure. He's a very good battler. Definitely go check him out, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Um, check in on the flip side.